Hey, guess what time it is? It's time for another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting, I forgot, what is it? Uh, deer <laughs> Winchester Deer Season XP 125 grain out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Hey, this is harder than it looks. So here's your box for that Winchester Deer Season XP ammo. I really like the new artwork Winchester's doing, but let's flip it around and take a look. Here is your promo information and ballistics data here at the bottom. I'll hold that still. You can zoom in and look at it if you want, pause it if you want to and read it. But let's pop this box open and take a look at the ammo. And I've also noticed, where is it? Right here. They're throwing stickers in here, so that's kind of fun but here's the ammo and no it's not missing two rounds i opened this box a while back just to look at the stuff and two of the rounds it looks like it looked like the bullets were seated um, incorrectly like they were a little far out but that's not actually what happened what the deal was was if you yank one of these bullets it's got let me see if i can get it there we go it's focused it's got two cantalures and the two that weren't in here those were seated on the second cantaloupe, like the brass was shorter or something. I don't know. It was really weird. It's the only time I've ever seen that in factory ammo. I'm not saying what it was or what it wasn't, but it was strange. So I pulled those two rounds. But here it is. And once again, here's what it looks up. Here's what it looks like. Big old ballistic tip on there. This should be fun to see how it performs. And the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Of course, we've got a 22 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40. And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. This rifle's name is Pig Ugly. You can kind of see it behind the cartridges there. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get one for yourself. I would love to make you one. And I want to show you over here on the other side. We've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester Deer Season XP out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And lo and behold, we captured all three bullets, thank goodness. This block is a little cloudy, but we can still see them. It looks like our deepest penetrating bullet was about 23 and 3 quarter inches. It's down right there. Coming back here, we got one at about 17 and eh, we'll give it 17 and 5 eighths inches. And then there's one that is just barely inside the second block. It's right about 16 and a quarter inches. And coming over to the side, you can see that bullet right there a little bit more clearly, just barely in the second block. Coming over to the first block, it looks like we did have some good initial rapid expansion, which is what I expect from that Deer Season XP bullet with its huge ballistic tip. And it looks like our main wound cavity is somewhere between about oh, the three inch and the seven and a half to eight inch mark. Pretty good performance. And let's take a look at those velocities for the Winchester Deer Season XP out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high was 2682, our low was 2672, and our average was 2677 feet per second. And here we're looking at those Winchester Deer Season XP bullets recovered out of the ballistics gel. First, we'll talk about weight retention. We saw 53 grains, 87 grains, and 94 grains respectively for an average of 78 grains retained weight. That works out to 62% average weight retention. Now, personally, I like to see a little bit more than that, but being that these are sort of a ballistic tip, rapid expanding bullet, it's not surprising that we saw what we got. And then as far as expansion goes, we saw 0.56 inches, 0.56 inches again, and 0.75 inches of expansion on that one on the right there for an average of 0.62 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.4x expansion. That's really right in line with what I've seen from a lot of 6.5 Creedmoor hunting ammo. And now we'll talk about velocity. Our high was 2,682 feet per second. Our low was 2,672 feet per second for an average 
of 2,677 foot per second of velocity. The spread was very tight there between the high and lows. We only saw a 10 foot per second spread, so that's always good. But the factory build velocity was substantially higher than what we got. The build velocity is 2,850 feet per second. So on average, this ammo was 173 feet per second slow. Now we'll talk about penetration. We saw 16 and a quarter inches, 17 and 5 eighths inches, and 23 and 3 quarter inches respectively of penetration for an average of 19 and 2 tenths inches of penetration. That's just a hair shallower than I like to see. I like to see 20 inches plus for medium game hunting ammo. I mean, that's not the end of the world. Your average whitetail deer is like 12 to 14 inches wide, so this will definitely do the job. But what I don't like to see is the variability in penetration amongst different bullets of the same kind of ammo. And this did have a little bit of a range. We got 16 and a quarter inches on the shallow end, 23 and three quarter inches on the deeper end. Usually the ammo is a little bit more consistent. And I think that has to do with how variable the expansion was for this particular bullet. Hey y'all, final thoughts on that Winchester Deer Season XP 125 grain load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. We had pretty low weight retention, 62% on average. That's not very good really. We had 2.4x expansion, which is somewhat expected. It's a ballistic tip style bullet supposed to open up and expand very rapidly. So basically what this is saying is this stuff is going to hit hard up front and then it's going to kind of peter out which to me says this is a smaller game type bullet, at least smaller medium game, not small game, but smaller deer, pronghorn, stuff like that. Penetration wise, we also didn't get that much penetration compared to other 6.5 Creedmoor loads under 20 inches on average. Average was 19 and two tenths. We had one that barely made 16 inches. This stuff just kind of blew up on impact. We did recover bullets. It wasn't a, an absolute failure or anything by those means, but for me, if I'm hunting medium game, I want something that holds together a little bit better, penetrates a little bit deeper. Let me know what you think. Have you used this load on game and what was your experience? Let everybody know in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.